Hey guys, Bobo here, and we are on day two of Cooking with the Canes, challenge one. Last night, Bear cooked us up a treat of a shepherd's pie, and to be fair, it was a lot better than I was expecting, so today I'm extra nervous. Um, I'm just starting off with my lasagna now. Um, I've never cooked a lasagna in my life, so this could be pretty interesting, and I'm basically shitting a brick, so we'll see how it goes. Let's do this. So first things first, I'm just going to add my uh, hot water. I'm a bit lazy like that. I never actually wait for it to boil in the pan. I always hit the kettle first. So we're going to pour in our hot water. Fill that up. Keep that going. On the burner. And then we've got our lasagna pasta sheets. Again, I have no idea what it, oh god, I've even already ruined the box. Now, I don't really know how many we need. Maybe I'll just... My pasta bowl is the same one, uh, my lasagna bowl is the same one that Claire used for her shepherd's pie. So, let me just map out how many sheets I think I'm going to need. Uh, just mapping out my lasagna sheets. So, I think we're going to have to go... Shit. They're not a great size for the pan. You can see here, one almost covers the base. The base. So to have two, but then bits are going to go over. Oh, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Let's see what I can do. Can I crack these? Oh, I can. Hello. Oh, we're going to make like a fucking puzzle up in here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, but I have to put them in the... I have to put them in the thing before I break them up. Oh god, disaster. Okay, well anyway, sheets are going in. Let's get them in there. All the sheets, don't know how many I'm going to need, so let's just stick a fucking bunch in. Ugh. On all the other ones I've seen as well, add a drizzle of olive oil so they don't all stick when you're getting them out. So let's just do that. See what happens. Bring them to a boil. And while I'm bringing them to a boil, I'm going to work on my... Oh, turn that down a bit. While I'm bringing them to a boil, I'm going to be chopping my garlic and my onion, which I'm going to fry up to go in with our mince beforehand. So uh, see you soon. Okay guys, so now as my pasta sheets are just coming to a boil, I've got my chopped onions and garlic. We're gonna put these straight into the wok. Straight in there. My eyes, I don't know if you can see, are absolutely destroyed from chopping those, but we will prevail. Okay, turn these on. We're gonna do these for about two minutes. Oh, before we add our minced meat, if I can get the heat, oh, there we go, boom. So, oh. You can hear my pasta sheets. Bit of olive oil. Voila. And then we give that a good old stir for a couple of minutes. Now this is the easy bit, but what I have been told is that I, for it to be an authentic and a decently scored lasagna tonight, I have to make the, the white sauce, what's it called? But, Bershel, Bergerac, oh god, I, don't, I can't even remember what it's called. So I have to make the white sauce from scratch, so that should be interesting. But for now, boiling pasta and frying up onions and garlic, it doesn't seem so difficult. So, see you in a sec when it gets a little bit harder. Peace. Okay, so while my onions and garlic are cooking, I'm going to slowly start to try and take out my pasta sheets and lay them into my bowl. Ooh. Let's see how we do with this. 
Trying to get one individually. Ah, using my hand was a fucking mistake. Okay, okay. Not looking so bad. And... Ah, hang them nicely. In the bowl. Ha! Ah. Actually, they've expanded a bit, so I might only need one per layer, which means I may have overdone by about 30 lasagna sheets, because... Shit. Oh well. Ha! Mother trucks! Don't use your hands with hot pasta. Okay. Now my garlic and onions are looking good. Which means it is time to add the good stuff. Show me that minced meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One. Oh. Don't leave the paper in. And two. Oh, oh, again. Remember to take the paper out. Now again, I don't really know how much I'm going to need, so... I'm going to just chuck in four bags. Four packs of mint. How big is each bag? 0. 0.5, half a pound. Ooh. Two pounds of mint. Yeah, baby. Give that a stir. In with all the onions and the garlic. Get that all mixed in there. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. A dash more olive oil. Give that a big old stir. Hmm, looking at this much meat, I'm thinking maybe I need a little, another, maybe I'll chuck in another onion. Although, hmm, I don't know. But we will grab our spices. Woo! It is hot in here. Where are my spices? Whoa. No. Be right back, peeps. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I found my spices, which we're going to need for our next part. But as a hold on, there we go, leave those there. But we've got uh, mince cooking nicely here with our onions and our garlic. And they're pretty much good to go for our next step, which is adding our tomatoes. So I've gone for some tinned chopped Italian tomatoes. So we're going to... One of those. And two of those. Now I'm gonna give it a stir and see what I think because I, I bought three and I have no idea what the amounts are. So as much shit as I gave Claire for not measuring her stuff out, I actually have no clue what I'm doing either. So, oh, it looks delicious though. Give this all a good stir. Mm. What do we think? What do we think? Do we need the other one? Fuck it. When in Rome, add more tomatoes. Okay. Now we're cooking, eh? Now we're cooking. Um, I actually don't have a sense of smell, but I imagine, which annoys Claire sometimes when she has nice perfumes or cooks really nice food and I can't smell it. That's why I have so much hot sauce on all of my food. But I imagine this right here in front of me smells, smells incredible. Now, while this is all going on, we're going to add our herbs. Got ourselves some parsley. Sprinkle some of that in there. And then some basil as well. The basil. Pop them down. Give it another big old stir. Ooh. This is a lot of mints for this bowl. Maybe I've overcooked. Overcooking Saturdays. Actually, 
Bez, what were her three Bs? Booze. Uh, who cares? I only thought about the first one. That's what I'm getting. Grabbing a beer. Okay, guys, I'm back with my beverage. My mince is just about done now, so I'm going to turn that off in a sec, and that's going to be ready to layer. And then I'm going to start working on my white cheesy layer thing. I don't, I don't even know what it is called. But anyway, we start just our, our egg in a bowl. Oh, one hand, I'm such a pro. Go in there. And we have a whisk. I don't believe we do. Oh, here's a fork. Give this a quick stir. Turn that off. Oh, it's hot. Now we just start whisking our egg. Whisking away. Should have had a whiskey instead of a beer. Get that nice and runny. I still have about 50 pasta sheets here, so I, if anybody wants some lasagna, give me a shout. Okay. Nice and soft. Then we add our grated mozzarella, which I can't even open. Just Ugh, the struggle is real. There we go, we're in. Mozzarella, straight in there. Ooh, that might be a bit much. Then we have our cottage cheese. We'll just squish that all in as well. And we give that a big old mix together. Should make some kind of gross looking clumpy layer. Well, it's supposed to anyway. Yeah, it's kind of gross and lumpy. Now it's all on the floor as well. Ugh. Feels gross. And I hope it tastes good. Ugh. Okay. That looks pretty rank, but oh well. I don't know what I was expecting from mushed up cheeses. Ooh, tastes delicious though. Now. Now we're gonna start layering it up, so. I'm going to have to change my camera angle, one second, BRB. Okay, this is better. So, these are the sheets I've done. I don't know how stuck to each other they are. Oh, look at that. Peeling up like a beauty. But I stupidly have put them in the bowl I'm going to use, so I need to put them on somewhere else. One. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Two. Oh. Two and a half. How many layers? How many layers are in a lasagna? Shit, I didn't even think about that. Three? Four? Uh, well, I've got about 50 sheets here. Oh, they're getting a little sticky at the bottom. Ooh, that one's a bit thick. Next one, last two. You beauty. So, to fill the bottom, we go one, and now it's cooked, we can tear a slide off the side like that, and fill the bowl. Oh, no one will ever know. Now, gonna add my mitts to the first layer. There we go. Just 
fill the rear. Oh man, I'm sweating and I'm sniffling from those onions. Okay. Layer. We go for our cheese layer. Spread out, spread out. Again, I have no idea how much is the correct amount, but that looks pretty good. Then we go for our second layer of lasagna. Oh, half that. And, oh, it might cross over a bit, so we're gonna tear a little bit off this one. Plop that one down there. Does that look like lasagna? Kind of does. So far so good. Layer two. That's the strips. Oh, it's looking a little watery around the sides, which is worrying me, but I'm hoping that that's gonna change in the oven. So, four pasta strips. In fact, I'm gonna do a pasta strip down each side as well. So it fills in. And last little bit on the other side. Oh, they're getting sticky again. Hey, up, Chuck. There we go, love. Easy does it. I don't know why I just haven't been to the node lately, but last layer on the top. Right, now, let me just quickly wash my hands. And I'll give you a better view of what we are dealing with. Oh, ready, ready, oh my God, I'm sweaty, and boom, lasagna. Although when you look at it from the side, hmm. Oh, the lighting isn't great. How about there? You can kind of see layers, I guess. Well, gonna stick that in the oven now. Um, Carenta and Adi are coming around in about an hour. So I'll stick that in the oven. Actually, no. Yeah, just under an hour. So we'll stick it in the oven and I'll see you guys soon. <gasps> Peace. Okay. Lasagna is in the oven. Woo! Mm, see, I don't know. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. I am now going to clean up this absolute mess that I've made. Finish my beer and wait for it to cook. See you guys soon. Peace. Okay, so I fucked up. I've realized that when I was cleaning up, I was tasting my mints and I realized I was missing um, a fairly key basic ingredient because when I went to run out to grab my, uh, my spices, I thought I had already added the very simple salt and pepper. So I tasted the mint and I was just like, mm, that seems a bit weird, I'll add some more. And then realized when I added it, fucking delicious. So, Fingers crossed the judges don't notice, but I could be in trouble here. Peace. Is it on? Yeah. We survived Claire's, so we thought we'd come back for round two. God help us both. So I'm about to reveal the obvious winning dish. Let me get my lasagna. Yeah, I thought you meant 80s desserts. <laughs> <laughs> God.
start this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait for the crash. Wow. Oh, you're on the map. Might need some armbands. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a little crispy on the top and very no clear layers throughout the side. The pasta is the layer. Let's... No, but, well, that's, there should be just thin layers. That looks like a mush of. Anyway, we'll see. Let's hope the taste is better. Do you want to serve? Amy. No, it's all it's gone all the way through. It cooks well. Because you pre-cook the pasta, you freak. Hey, there's no no saying what you can Please and can't cook. Please comment on the pre-cooked pasta element, people, because we think it's weird. Leave your comments below. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say these days. Yeah. See, see, it's gone through. It's going. It's quite like a dream. It's it's cooking well. <laughs> come on, come out. The moment of truth. Come out. See, there's layers, there's layers. Oh, yeah, there's layers. See? Oh, it's not all mushed out. Okay, we'll give him that. It smells quite nice. There was no elevating with any mixed herbs on the top. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> see, yeah. I saw Claire's and I thought, no. That's lost points. That's the <laughs> I thought Claire would lose the points for trying to elevate her food with <laughs> Italian mixed herbs. Well, you guys can just taste and then we'll, we'll serve ourselves. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for I it. need about four hours to cook down. Right. See, Amy uses a spoon also. This is Amy's a weirdo. Why would you use a fork? Especially if the pasta's been cooked four times. <laughs> <laughs> One extra time. Not much depth of flavour. Oh! It does look a bit anemic. It doesn't like rich brown. I did forget something quite key. It's a little under seasoned. No, salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I went to put in my um, parsley and basil. Oregano and basil. Oregano and basil. <laughs> there we go. And because I had to run out here to see where they were, I thought in my head when I went back in that I'd already added the salt and pepper. <laughs> and then when I was checking my mints, I was tasting my mints as I was clearing up. I was like, this I'm tastes a bit bland. I'm going to need some though. You're going to have to go and get some. Some salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, out of 10, AD. Oh, it's a struggle, this one. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I like the salad that goes with it though. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I was going to do salad as well. <laughs> Points for our cool uh, salt and pepper. No, these are so cool. I like these the other day. As a point for me. It is cooked. It's and cool. it did hold its shape. And it's, the pasta isn't terrible. And it's not, no, it's fine. And it's not inedible in any way. No. But I would choose Claire's any Well, 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 yeah, that's not it. So what, what's the I'm score? I need a score. A six. I'm going six too. How? And you gave Claire a six. I elevated that to a seven. Because of the mixed oh, herbs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so two sixes. Fuck! So Claire wins! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's outrageous. I'm shocked and appalled. But no, we haven't finished yet because next time I think you should both do the dishes you like to cook. Ooh, okay. And then yeah. that's. Interesting. Because then there's no excuses. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then go. it should be tens. Episode two coming soon. And there you have it, peeps. Just as I said, I freaking won. Let's talk about those scores. I believe that I, they were out of 10 between two people. So Carenza gave me a eight, eight I believe, which was amazing. amazing. And then I got a six, which was later elevated to a seven, which you may not have seen, which means awesome. ba -ba 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 I got 15 out of 20. Never cook shepherd's pie. Whoop, whoop. Unacceptable behavior. I got a six and a six for 12, which I just, um, to be fair, forgetting salt and pepper was pretty, is pretty stupid. 
So I, I will accept defeat today, knowing that it would have been better. So I'm coming back strong next time, don't you worry. And please, before we go, I just can't get over the, the pasta sheets. You guys know what I'm talking about. Who actually makes lasagna with the pasta sheets already cooked? I told Somebody you. Somebody let me know because, mind blown. The pasta was fine, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, there. with the scores. But anyways, we'll catch you guys next time for another episode of Cooking with, with the, the Canes. Ah. The Canes. And I will win again. Never. Peace.